next year international students that are planning to attend. So great to see y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all look great. Oh, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Uh, that's awesome. It is awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we'll give it about one or two more minutes and then we'll go ahead and begin uh, just confirming with everyone, we are recording the session. Um, and so we just wanna make sure that everyone's mindful of that. And I'm sure you got the acknowledgement through Zoom. So as we begin, uh, it's important that we acknowledge and respectfully acknowledge that the University of Arizona is on the land and territories of indigenous people. Today, Arizona is home to 22 federally recognized tribes in Tucson, being home to the Odom and the Yaqui. Uh, the university and the college is committed to diversity and inclusion, and the university strives to build sustainable relationships with sovereign native nations and indigenous communities through education offerings, partnerships, and community service. I share that as we acknowledge and welcome you all to our, what, our first session kicking off your orientation session that exists. So today, um, is a part of your live Tuesdays and Thursdays. We wanna take this time to officially welcome you as face-to-face -face <laughs> as possible uh, via Zoom to the Mellon Enid Zuckerman College of Public Health. And so the purpose of today is gonna to be give you an opportunity to meet our staff in the Office of Student Services and Alumni Affairs, chat a little bit about what we do. Um, obviously, as we mentioned, this kicking off our live Tuesday and Thursday's presentations. After we hear from the staff, we'll talk a little bit about what's coming up on Thursday. And then again, the recordings are gonna be live and they will be available to you um, in D2L. And the value of that is so that you don't have to feel that you need to take notes. Again, today is, is designed to be much more of a relaxed time to just say hello, introduce you, um, to the staff so you can become familiar with who we are. So I will start <laughs> just because I'm already talking and I will pass it on to our staff members as the slides come up. So my name is Andre Dickerson. I serve as the Assistant Dean for Student Services and Alumni Affairs. And uh, I, I want to share with you all uh, some pictures about my family and who I am. Uh, I, I've been at the university or with OSA for about a year now. Um, and my family's coming from Washington State. I originally grew up in Los Angeles, uh, California. And when you see some of the pictures here is my wife and I, we've been together for just over 14 years, married 10, three beautiful children, amazing and absolutely crazy. <laughs> I have an eight year old turning nine, a two-year-old turning three, and a one-year-old that I don't know who he thinks he is or how old he thinks he is, but he's extremely vocal and, he, and his presence is felt. Um, and I, my background is not in public health. However, I have my undergraduate credentials in biology, I have a, a under, bi, bachelor's in biology, I have a master's in medical sciences, and I also have a master's in business. Um, but my doctoral work is in higher education. Um, nonetheless, I've worked in public health, in community health in different capacities. And that's leading hospice for, as an executive director for a county in Washington state, uh, as well as working with community health clinics to improve access to healthcare in, in rural areas and with critical access hospitals. However, uh, uh, the lion's share of my work has been in student affairs. So I'm a student affairs practitioner and I'm grateful to have been able to serve in the capacity for the last year, as well as support the staff as they continue to move forward. Um, yes, so that's a little bit about myself. I am a first generation college graduate and I also recognize what it's like to be a student with a family and with work commitments. As I mentioned, I'm currently finishing up my PhD right now. And so I feel y'all, I'm with y'all. Uh, and many of our staff are in the same boat. They've earned their graduate credentials while working full time or potentially have been in, being in school full time. So that's a little bit about me and I will pass it on to Christy. 
Hi, everyone. I'm Christy. I serve as the college's um, administrative assistant. As you can see, I have a very big family that's pretty wild and crazy. We like to do a lot of outdoor activities together and a lot of fun things. Um, it, the one picture that has my name on it is my um, oldest daughter renewing her wedding vows. So there's five girls that we have in our in our little doggy, Nala. Um, but we just enjoy hanging out together and spending a lot of time. Um, I'm coming to the college new. I've only been here since May. Um, started getting over here so I could help my girls get through school. And um, so I am coming to you with the perspective of a mom of students. So if you have any questions about how your moms are feeling, <laughs> please stop by and ask. Um, I'm always here in A110 on the first floor, and I'm happy to, to meet you all. So I'm going to pass it to Isela. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, for us, it's afternoon, so I'll say good afternoon. Welcome. I'm really excited to start seeing faces. My name is Isela Cardenas. I serve as our recruitment professional for the College of Public Health. Although I not, was not fully involved in your recruitment journeys because I just started in this role in April. Prior to that, I was serving in Christie's role. I was our admin for the Office of Student Services, but really excited to serve in this new capacity, start um, hearing from you all what drew, what drew you to the college, your whys, and also just start hearing your interests as you come to orientation and we see you all. Um, come this Friday, August 19th. Um, I have been working in our college for four years, a little over four years now this summer. So really excited about um, the trajectory here. I'm actually an alum of our college. I completed our bachelor's of science in public health back in 2018. And I also completed my bachelor's of arts in Mexican American studies with a minor in Spanish. So just a overall U of A alum. And I am also a current online Master's of Public Health student in Health Service Administration. So also wearing that student hat as all of you are coming into wearing that hat as well. So many different capacities, many different hats I, I wear within our college. Excited to chat about any or all of the above with you all. Love forming connections. Um, I also oversee our ambassador program. So if any of you are interested in joining or learning more about that program, we invite you to apply come this September or this spring semester. So you'll hear more about that that um, your second semester. But yeah, I born and raised here in Tucson. My family is from Nogales, Sonora, Mexico. So first generation Mexican American, first generation college student, first generation all of the above. <laughs> um, I recently got married this past November. We're coming close here to our one year anniversary. So a few pictures of that. Um, over the summer, we actually purchased our first home as well. So a lot of home decorating, home improvements, a lot of wall painting going on. Um, just a little tedious work, but it helps keep me busy outside of, of my other commitments. I have fur babies only, which are also crazy little ones. <laughs> um, my little poodle mix there, the white one, that's Chiquita. My pug there is Bonita, and then the little cat there is Daniela. So yes, always, they're just loving having their backyard and all that fun stuff now. Um, over the summer, my cousin celebrated her quince, one of our, my youngest cousins. I come from a big family. My great grandmother had 19 kids, so you could imagine. It's a big, it's a big group of us there. So one of the youngest had her quinceanera. So a lot of planning, a lot of celebrating her. Um, this summer and then also my family decided to do a kind of like a family reunion over in Rocky Point Mexico that's just a few hours here from Tucson so it was great to get to see them um, that's that picture you see in the top left where you can't really see any faces that's half of my family but yes very family oriented love Tucson love exploring so if you have any questions about that um, I welcome any discussions or if you just want to stop by say hey see where we are and um, get any insight of any of the experiences we're here to help thank you hello everybody good afternoon Ryan Donato the pronouns I use are he him his and I serve as the graduate 
uh, admissions professional for OSA. I started in March, so I may or may not have reviewed your application when applying, but if I did, and you can now add a face to the name of all those emails I probably sent you asking you to send transcripts, enroll, and all of the above. Um, as you can see in the picture to the left, I too am an alum of the college as I graduated in 2020 with my master's in health, in health service administration. 2020 was definitely the perfect year to graduate as I, I put all of that uh, uh, in my plan of that, that was the day to happen. Um, to the right is my partner, Jackie. Um, this is an approved photo that she allows me to share of her. And this was the time we went to Seattle. Um, it's definitely a, a place that we love to go to. So Andre, I know we've talked about in the past, definitely a beautiful city. Um, below that is a photo of me in uh, North the significance of this photo and why I'm sharing it is that it is a study abroad program that I participated in in undergrad, um, and it was a public health program, and this is what sparked my interest in wanting to pursue a master's of public health and definitely has led me to where I am today, so I'm very grateful that experience. It was definitely once in a lifetime and had a lot of fun. So congratulations once again. We look forward to seeing you all in person here in Tucson, at least on August 19th, and um, please let us know if you have any questions. Hi, everyone. I'm up next. Um, so my name is Kim Barnes. I'm the Director of Student Affairs for our Phoenix campus. Um, I have been with the college in some capacity here in Phoenix for almost 12 years now. Um, I've been higher ed for um, almost 20 years, um, with the exception of stopping to do my MPH. Um, so yes, I'm an alum of the college. I'm on a triple alum of the university, first generation college student. So I'm um, very similar to um, what my colleagues have shared with you. Um, this is, these are older pictures, um, but also some of my favorite pictures of my family. So um, I have three kids and almost, um, no, no, 11, an 11 year old, an eight year old and a four year old. So they're older than in these pictures, although now I'm looking at them and they're just so cute. Um, I also have, what you don't see is that I have a, a dog, a lizard and four chickens who are jerks, but they do give us eggs. So we'll take it. Um, and so it's a busy house. Um, it's a lovely house. And um, here on the Phoenix campus, we have about 70 students at any given time. So we have public health practice, health services administration Phoenix, as well as our MDMPH Phoenix program. So I serve all those students. I also work with our uh, HSA Tucson students. So I see a few names of some of our Phoenix students here with us today. So we are a, a different campus than Tucson, a much more commuter based. We're a health sciences campus and we're called the Phoenix Bioscience Core is the name of our campus. Um, NAU and ASU both have presence on the campus as well with various programs. So it's a really collaborative space um, with lots of new buildings, historic buildings and a, a whole mishmash. And um, we're so excited for students again to join us on the 19th here in Phoenix to get to see folks in person. Um, you're hearing us all emphasize that because we have not had an in-person orientation session since 2019. So we are very excited to get to meet and welcome you all actually to campus. Um, so yeah, for Phoenix folks or folks who are gonna be in the Phoenix area or looking for Phoenix opportunities, I'm so excited to connect with you and interact with you. Um, I know I, I helped a little bit with admissions, so you may have seen my name on things as well. Um, and so we just really want to welcome you. So thank you all. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. My name is Tanya Nemec. I am the MPH program coordinator for Tucson based programs. Um, I am a two time alum of the University of Arizona. I got my Bachelor of Arts in Psychology and then I actually came to work for the College of Public Health. Um, so similar to Kim, I have been here almost 12 years um, in a couple of different roles. I first started out as the um, Office of Student Services and Alumni Affairs admin. So I've also served in that role similar to Gisela and Christy. Um, and while I was in that position, I got my Master of Public Health through the College of Public Health in the concentration of health behavior health promotion. So I definitely also understand students who are working full time um, and going to school part time or are, you know, staff members and trying to balance um, your career and school at the same time. 
Um, and so I have been the MPH program coordinator for a little over six years now. Um, and I love this role. I love getting to work with our MPH students. Um, and so it brings me a lot of joy. Um, the photos on my slide, um, one of me, so to put a face to a name um, today, I have my natural hair, but uh, sometimes I wear it straight. So and um, then the middle photo is my nephew. That was his first day of pre-K and he was super stoked to go to school. He's four years old. Um, so that was a lot of fun to get to celebrate. Um, I'm originally from Phoenix and my family still lives up there. So I often am splitting my time. Uh, between Tucson and Phoenix on the weekends. And so to get to um, see him go to school was very fun. And then the left uh, or the farthest right hand photo is actually a combination. Those are not my animals. So I realize maybe that seems a little weird, but I do a lot of house and pet sitting for um, family friends. And so these were the very adorable animals that I have house at for this summer, a very cute, um, but elderly beagle, um, a very <laughs> high energy um, boxer mix. And then the bottom two um, is the um, black lab and a very quiet and shy cat. So I spent a lot of my summer um, hanging out with a lot of adorable pets. So, um, but that's just a little bit about me and I am so excited to meet you all and get to work with you. So thanks so much. Hi everyone, my name is Michael Tiern and I am the coordinator for the Masters of Science and Doctoral Programs here. Um, I didn't put my credentials on there, but my master's degree is in education, not in public health. So I'm one of the few in the group today that you're going to meet, that you are meeting, um, that does not have a formal background in public health. Um, however, I've spent, I'm kind of a, a lifelong volunteer. So I've spent many, many years working in um, aid service organizations here in Tucson, three different ones and uh, several years working at Primavera Foundation, which is um, like the largest organization working with the homeless here in Tucson. So I volunteered at the men's shelter there for, I don't know, two or three years doing check-ins, which was an incredibly interesting um, experience. So I have some experience on the front lines of, of public health, but not the formal background. So um, I've been working here in the office for about eight years now. It's coming up on my eight year anniversary pretty soon and about 18 years in higher education. Um, the photos that I have here, um, the two on the left are from some of my summer activities. So on the bottom left, that is Ocean Beach and the pier going out, took a vacation there uh, with um, a cousin of mine. It's about a six hour drive to San Diego, depending on how you drive. And um, it's actually only four hours to Rocky Point. So if anybody's like new to the area and you're jonesing for the beach, you can actually be on a, a, a beach in Mexico in about four hours. And then that top picture is from um, the mountains above us. That's about an hour away. That is, is uh, Winter Haven up, is it Winter Haven or Summer Haven? I always keep forgetting. It's up on top of Mount Lemon, and it's about an hour drive. And um, I took my mom on some day trips this summer. My mom's going to be 85 in about two days. And so we just took some day trips and got out of the Tucson heat and had dinner up at the restaurant that you see there. Some of the other things that I do um, is um, I do some gardening. If you are into gardening, it is a little extra challenging in the desert, um, but that is a Mexican sunflower that you see towards the top there that I had tremendous success with last year, not this year. So that's a picture from last year. There's hiking, great hiking. That is um, at Seven Falls in the bottom middle there, um, which is out to the east of us. You can drive in any direction and run into a mountain though here in Tucson. And then um, I also enjoy artwork. So sometimes I pack up my sketch pad and take it out with me when I go hiking. That is a color pencil drawing I did of a mesquite tree in the park, my kind of my childhood park. I went there and just kind of laid under the tree and did some sketches and then took the sketches home and filled it out into a colored pencil um, piece. So that's a little bit about me. And I'm just so excited that you're all here. Uh, for any MPH students, I know you're concentrating, as you should, on just getting started in your new program. 
But if you're getting, um, if you're at all interested in the future in a doctoral program, definitely come and see me uh, prior to uh, applying, because I'll give you some, some tips and some insights. So please, um, even though I work with MS doctoral students, my door is certainly open to everybody. So great to have you all here. Everyone, my name is Samantha Pierce, and I am the coordinator for the online NPH program. And I'm so excited to see that some of our online students are a part of this pre orientation session. So I'm essentially kind of the online version of Michael, Tanya, and Kim. I am also an alum of our college, so I got my BS in public health back in 2016, in addition to my BA in Spanish translation and interpretation. And I loved it so much that I decided to go back for my MPH. And I finished the online MPH back in December 2018. So not too long ago, I was doing exactly what you all were doing and definitely doing it on top of a full-time job, family obligations, and just trying to survive the ups and downs of it all, right? I, so as you can tell, I like our office. And so I included a lot of pictures of our Christmas party when you, our Elsa, who we'll talk about a little bit later, who's also a current summer I'm sorry, she's gonna be graduating this summer from our online program. And then Gisela and another one of our friends here on Ease, we went to a soccer game. In the middle is our Christmas party. Um, not a lot of really big expos happen in Tucson, but up in Phoenix, there was the Friends Expo and that was a lot of fun. And that's what that middle picture is. And then again, because I'm such a clearly diehard fan of U of A that I loved it so much and we're doing full circle as I'm in this position, I have a picture with Wilbur and fun fact in that picture, right after he proposed to me. So that was a great day. Um, I'm super excited to see all of you here with us today. Feel free to reach out with any questions. I primarily do work with our online students and our online students who are here. Definitely take advantage and use this network with our bigger office of the Office of Student Services and Alumni Affairs to really coordinate and answer and ask <laughs> excuse me, all questions. Thanks and we're excited to have everybody. Hi everyone, um, I'm not Abba, but um, Abba couldn't join us today. So I'm gonna introduce Abba. She is our senior academic advisor for our fully online undergraduate program. Um, so you're gonna meet our undergraduate staff here. She went to Disney with her family uh, just last week. So that's what most of these pictures are. She also said, make sure to point out eating gelato. So there's a picture of that it's in Tucson or maybe at Disney, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so ABBA is um, a great support for our online undergraduate students and provides that advising and guidance um, in that role. Thanks. Okay, hi everybody. I am Rye Alberti. I am another one of the undergraduate academic advisors. Um, I work with main campus students. I've been with the university for quite a while now. This is my eighth year, um, essentially, in student services. Um, I've been with OSA for um, two years now. Um, and then I, like many of the uh, people in the office, I'm also an alumni of the program. So I graduated with my um, BS in public health. Um, in 2018, and I am three weeks away from finishing my MPH um, with a concentration in applied epidemiology. So I was also an online student. I just turned in my last thing for my internship yesterday. <laughs> um, so I, but I've, um, I've been raised in Tucson. So if you are an online student and want to connect with an alumni I'm here, if you are um, an in-person student and you're new to Tucson and want to know cool things to do, the best theaters in town, um, if you're into gardening, I'm a good person for that. I have a pretty prolific garden, which I should have sent pictures of for this presentation, but I forgot. Um, but yeah, I'm here. You'll probably see me at um, college events or OSA events throughout your time here. Um, but I am around if anybody has questions for me as an online PhD student. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong person. Hi, so I'm Melanie. Um, uh, you heard me earlier. I'm the undergraduate program coordinator. So I have the pleasure of overseeing our undergraduate advising staff, um, a team really. Um, I have my bachelor's of science with a major 
in community health education from the college. And then I went on to earn my MPH in uh, health behavior, health promotion. Uh, so I have a real passion for health education and health promotion, and maybe some of you on the call do as well. Um, these are pictures of my family and my son and my son Felix, he just turned four. So he, he'll tell you chocolate is his favorite food. So that's a chocolate cake for his birthday because that's all he wanted. And there with my husband as well. Um, yeah, so that's us um, here. If you help it, help you troubleshoot any undergraduate questions, some of you might be TAs. Um, some of you might be doing, okay. Um, my son is home right now. Some of you might be doing research um, with undergraduates or just interacting with them in some capacity. So if you ever need help troubleshooting or um, you know, have any undergraduate questions, we are here for you. Um, you can start with me if you're not sure where to go. Um, so thanks so much. Glad that you all are joining us this fall. And I don't know if Nicole, Nicole had a conflicting meeting, is she here? Uh, not, not yet. Okay, so Nicole Johnson is another undergraduate main campus advisor. Uh, she's new to our team, just joined last week. Um, she didn't give me a primer on what these pictures are, but let's just say I think she went to the Friends experience as well, Samantha. Um, uh, that's what I think that bottom picture, those middle pictures are. Um, appears to like Nutella, which I just learned that about Nicole. Um, uh, and also enjoying the outdoors. Um, so again, if you have any undergraduate main campus questions, um, we are here. And Nicole is new to our team and we're so excited to have her. Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Elsa, I'm one of the academic advisors for undergraduate main campus students. I am also an online MPH student about to finish up this summer. So very excited about that. Um, I've been an advisor for the college since November 2019. Um, so going on to three years now. Um, and if you have any questions about the online program, like Maria said, feel free to reach out. Um, we can answer questions about what the experience was like um, or what to expect. Um, and as well, I am from Tucson. So if you have any questions that are Tucson specific, you can also feel free to reach out. The, um, oh, and then here in my picture, I have a, I have a nephew named Sebastian. Uh, we hang out a lot and I also have a niece. She's not in here, but <laughs> she's a little younger. She's um, a little over a year. And um, I also spend some time with her as well. So yeah, that's basically what I do with my free time is hang out with my niece and nephew. Um, and yeah, welcome. And now pass it over to the, I don't know if I'm the last one actually. I don't know. Hey everyone, it's Christy again. Um, this is Melissa, our student worker. She um, could not be here today. So I'm just gonna share with her. She's um, working on her undergrad. I'm not sure what emphasis she's working on. Oh, I apologize. Um, so she's had a pretty good summer. She's done some traveling. She had a family reunion in Mexico as well, which is what I think these um, pictures are of her celebrating the summer with her family. So she is, shares my office space with me on, in A110 on the first floor. So stop in and say hi. Okay, so as we introduce ourselves to you, um, do us a favor, go ahead in the chat, share one or two things about yourself with us. And I also recognize that we also have one of our faculty on the call and uh, wanna give the opportunity for you all to meet her as well, if that's okay. So if you don't mind going to the chat, you can share whatever you wanna share with us. You can share what program you're in, or one fun fact, whatever you feel comfortable with sharing. Obviously we know some things about you, but it's always nice for us to be able to put some fun facts or other things about yourself uh, to your name and to your faces. Um, so if I can, before we kind of move forward, I do want to introduce you all to Dr. Christina Cutshaw, uh, who serves as the director uh, for the online programs and want to give her an opportunity to speak uh, if she would like in introducing herself as well. Well, thanks, Andre. Yeah, hi, everybody. I just wanted to jump in and say um, a quick welcome and say how excited I am to see you all here. Um, as Andre said, I have a couple of, uh, wear a couple hats here at the college. For the longest time, um, I have much uh, 
fewer years of uh, higher ed uh, academic student affairs assist uh, experience than all my colleagues here. But um, I've been on the faculty here at the college for 17 years. It's hard to believe. Uh, and I'm in health promotion sciences and family and child health. So uh, there I am the program director, I'm a faculty member, I'm a program director for the Master of Public Health and uh, DRPH program in family and child health. And then I also work very closely with Samantha Pierce uh, and I'm director of online education for the college. So I'm um, just really excited to see you all. Just a little bit about me, I have three kids. Uh, one is a fresh, finished his freshman year here at the U of A. A uh, daughter that's 16, a son that's 14. Uh, we have two dogs, and um, I've, I've got lots of uh, experience working with all varieties of students. So, undergrad, I teach and mentor undergrads, uh, master students, and doctoral students. Um, so, happy to meet you all. Excited you're here, and um, you've got an amazing team here. So, uh, looking forward to working with you. Thanks. Thank you, Dr. Cutshaw. And I see things are coming into the chat as well. Sarah, oh, two fur babies, rock, rock. Okay, that's awesome. Applied epi. So as folks are sharing and, and, and sharing with you all as, as a cohort, as a group coming in, we do want to make you aware of, okay, today starts off our Tuesday, Thursday live events. This Thursday, uh, you will be hearing uh, kind of essentials for the first year as well as tips for success. So the MS doctoral students will be meeting with Michael and then the MPH students will be, be meeting with Tanya, Cam, and Sam will be facilitating one for the online MPH students as well. Uh, so just know that as we are wrapping today up, we have you scheduled for Thursdays for these sessions, essentials for first year and then tips for success. Um, as you all are sharing, Moving forward, we have time and space um, for you on this call. For those of you who are looking to stay, I'm going to pass this to Michael as we facilitate what is next. And I'm going to go into the chat to start reading some cool things about you. Thank you, Andre. Yes, um, a couple of different things. Yeah, first, I hope you'll hope. So something will be planned for the Emerson doctoral students, but MPH folks, please don't go anywhere yet. Um, is to have just some like one on one time or three on six time after these uh, presentations on Tuesdays and Thursdays where you know MS and doctoral students that are coming in can um, stick around and chat with some of the current MS and doctoral students. So I'm all the rest of us are going to leave the room. So it's just a uh, personal chat that you can have, you know, that's unfiltered. Um, without, you know, any kind of censoring because Michael's in the room or Andre's in the room or anybody else is in the room. So if you want to have just like some real quality one-on-one -on -one chats uh, with current MS and doctoral students, please stick around for that. Today's topic is um, on adjusting to life in the U.S. So it has a particular slant for our international students. I think some of this will be applicable to people who are coming from out of state also. Um, and But I want to extend the invitation for this afternoon to any international MPH students or any MPH students who also want to stick around um, for today's conversation, because it is kind of a very specific topic and it's kind of an important one. Um, folks coming from other countries have some extra challenges in dealing with sometimes a educational system that is completely different than the one they came from, came from you know, a different culture, um, just so many different things that I don't even know, you know, I mean, that's one of, the, one of the things is sometimes we don't know what the differences are. So we've got three student facilitators, uh, Gayatri, who is working on her PhD in epidemiology, Lauren, who's working on her DRPH in public health policy and management, and Jonathan, who's working on his PhD in health behavior health promotion. They're the ones that are going to lead the discussion today. It's going to be based on some of the feedback that we got from those of you who filled out the voluntary uh, survey where we asked you to kind of tell us about your expectations for orientation. So you have the opportunity to ask, uh, answer some questions that we put out there, and we're using those responses to help form and mold um, our presentations and the uh, content for our presentation. So thank you very, very much 
for everyone who has responded to that poll. Um, it is used. I'm going to just do a little, a little um, plug for orientation in general. Um, a lot of work has gone into this orientation because we think it's really valuable. And because our, you know, as a team, you know, we really want to support you. We want you to get the best possible start. So we do put a lot of time and attention into this um, as a team, but also with the feedback from last year's uh, uh, graduate students who went through orientation um, per the survey that they filled out at the end of orientation and that we'll ask you to fill out too. Um, but also at the beginning of this process, we invited um, last year's students into the process of planning. So it's a real group effort. A lot of people have, have um, put time and energy into creating something that we hope is really, really meaningful and useful to you. So um, Christy, if you wouldn't mind sharing the next slide, please. So some of those questions that we asked and some of the responses we got that we hope to start to address in this um, conversation coming up, um, you see there on the screen, I'll go through that in, in, in just a moment. Um, we'll return to some of these topics in other presentations as well. But we asked, what is the one of the questions we asked is, what is the best thing that could happen in the coming year? Uh, performing well in classes, a couple of people said that, getting introduced to expert scholars, uh, meet new people, students, staff, and faculty, and establish work relationships. What is your biggest worry about the next year? Coping with the weather. That's a serious one. That's a real one. Um, what would you like to know about your program faculty and or fellow students? I would like to know how students perform well as full-time students, student experiences, conducting research, the good and the bad, and study groups, if any. So those are some suggested topics for your discussion. I'm leaving, so you can talk about whatever you want. You know, and so is the rest of us. You know, so it's it's about what you want to learn. Uh, but again, I want to invite the MS and doctoral students to stick around um, and to visit with uh, Gayatri and uh, Lauren and Jonathan and and for this evening's conversation. Any MPH students um, who are also interested in participating are very welcome to stick around as well. So I think with that, um, actually. I'm going to stop the recording, um, see if there are any questions uh, before we start to log